Yes, students now let's see how to do this question so here you, you wanted to show that using a simple example the heap constructed using a bottom-up approach and top-down approach need not be the same so let's say you're given uh, a list of elements one two three okay so if you want to do a bottom-up approach you write down it as a binary tree first and then what you do is um, uh, first check for each of the leaf nodes is added for the heap property but this node doesn't satisfy the heap property so you swap it with the largest element uh, largest children so child so bring three up and move one down so that's what it is so this is a heap now so now let's do it uh, uh, top down construction of this heap so this is going to be uh, again one two three so you start with one and then you put two as a left child it's not it's not the heap property so you move to one and then you insert three it doesn't again that's the heap property so you move three up and bring two down so this is three one two that's different from three two one so that's how we show that uh, the heap generated with the top down and bottom up approaches need not be the same right now when would you use the bottom up strategy and when would you use the top down strategy the bottom up strategy which is this you, you basically start with an entire binary tree and then rearrange to get the heap right so you need to know all the elements of the heap up front ahead of time if you don't know them ahead of time and you know them only at runtime as you do something some other so this is basically a question that asks you in a big programming project or an application development environment uh, which strategy would you use to construct a heap so if you know all the data ahead of time then you can use a bottom-up approach to construct the heap whereas if you don't know ahead of time then you have to use a top-down approach right because you can insert elements into the heap one element at a time and do the rearrangement with the top-down approach you can do that with the bottom -up approach too once you know the heap you can keep inserting whenever you get to know it but if you just want to strictly either one of the two approaches then you do a bottom up approach if you know ahead of time if you don't know and you know only at run time then you would use a top down approach so what's the time complex that's the trade off because the bottom up approach is very fast it can take only trade off end lock uh, end, end time whereas the top down approach because each time you kind of insert a key you have to rearrange the heap so each insertion and rearrangement will take a log end time so if you want to consider a heap of n elements you have to go through n such insertions and rearrangements so that's why it takes n log n time if you use a top-down approach for a heap right